twinkle eyes and flashing across the sky. Like a swift as arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. The time will come when everyone will know the name of Canyon, the Wonder. He'll be somewhere around. I just hope you didn't fall for a cock and bull story, that's all. Look, we need a new bucking horse, don't we? It's half true what they say about the leader of this herd. He'll be right for us. I need the horses. I'll get the saddle. Hey, there's your herd. That must be your stallion. What do you say now? I gotta admit, if he's as wild and mean as he's fine looking, that's dynamite, our next killer horse. Hi, Jan. Were you waiting for me? <laughs> I'm not giving up now. You gotta get that horse alone. See what he does when a grown man tries to ride him. That was well, champ. But, promise to get back in time for matures. So long. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm concerned, this is all a waste of time. Just right there he is. <laughs> the only way he can get out of this canyon is past us. He ain't getting past. You take that side and watch. Well? I'm 
a sign of him, Uncle Sandy. Anywhere. Well, Champ's a pretty smart horse, Ricky. He can take care of himself. But he's been gone three days now. Something's happened to him, Uncle Sandy. I know it has. Ricky, he's probably just wandered off. But I'll come with you. We'll take another look. Thanks, Uncle Sandy. All right, let's go. Uncle Sandy, will we stay with Aunt Emily? Yes, so we always do. Good night. I'm trying to get some sleep. I'll try. I promise. Mighty fine yourself, Aunt Emily. Yes, sir. Prettier every year. Now, don't you start polishing apples until after they're picked. Huh. I'll get you something to eat. You must be starved. I'm not a bit hungry. Oh, well, then why don't you and Rabble look the town over for a while? I, I guess I might as well, if you don't mind. Come on, Rebel. as bad as you said in your letter, worse. Emily, I've tried everything I know to get his mind off, chap. You and a change of scene are practically my last hope. Well, I'll do everything I can, but I've never seen a boy so down in the mouth.
Say, where will I find Bates or Dixon? I'm Mort Dixon. I'd like to talk to you about this horse you call Dynamite. His real name's Champion, and he belongs to me. Belongs to you. He wasn't wearing no brand when we caught him. Well, he doesn't really belong to the boy legally, but they had sort of grown up together, and I'd like to keep it that way. How much do you want for the horse? You haven't got money enough to buy him, mister. We're booked solid for months ahead. We're shipping out east tomorrow. Uncle Sandy, I know how to get him if they won't sell him to us. Look at that poster. It says they'll give him to anybody who can ride him. For only $10. Yeah, that's right. I'll buy the boy a ticket right now. You plumb loco, mister. What? That outlaw's nearly half killed every man to try to ride him. You're telling us a kid can do it? That's right. He's the only one that can. It may be crazy, but we ain't. We ain't letting no kid close to that killer. Well, if he got hurt or maybe even killed, the Lord put us out of business. You've got to let me! You've got to let me! Come on, get away and stay away. Yeah, but he knows I'm here. Hey! Trying to trick us out of our horse. Disturbing a piece. Now get out of here, Pronto! You can let him up now, Rebel. Come on, Ricky. But Uncle Sandy, I. Oh, come on. Well, there's nothing we can do now, Ricky. They're within their legal rights. Maybe I'll think of something, though. Maybe if I offer him a lot more money for Champ. We'll see. One thing for sure. We gotta keep that kid away from that horse. Oh, don't worry, they won't be back. Emily, would you trick me with a loan of $10 for a little while? Are you planning on going into business? Not exactly. Oh, I know how men are. They don't like to tell their business. Of course, in this case, I could guess. Go get it out of my pocketbook. Gosh, thanks, Aunt Emily. Hey, dynamite, dynamite, dynamite. The greatest wild stallion in the West. You ride him and you win him. A chance of a lifetime to win a horse that a thousand dollars wouldn't buy and only ten bucks to throw. Here you are. If you don't want to ride them, a dollar. You can watch all the fun. You ride them and you win them. For only ten bucks. There you go, right over here, gentlemen. There you are. Only a tenth spot. Only a tenth spot of Starbuck, and you could own dynamite. I just got to ride dynamite. Ride and and I got the money, but they won't sell me a ticket. Neither would I. That Mustang ain't for kids, from what I hear. You better get your paw to buy your shipping pony. Good luck. Okay, here you are. All right, step right up. Who's next? Who wants to take a chance to win a wonder horse? I can use a good horse. Good. Well, he's yours for the taking. You're riding. I don't know. All right, Joel. step right up. Now it's in dynamite. What happened to you? I tried that man killing outlaw. A little bump, why don't you try your luck? See, I, I ain't got time to waste my turn. Uh, how about getting my ten bucks back? No refunds, partner. Why don't you tell it to one of your friends or just go inside and watch. You now, wait a minute. I paid ten bucks on it. Look, I said no refund. Come on, Rebel. Thank you. 
excuse me, but I heard you say you didn't want your ticket. Now will you sell it to me? What's eating on you, son? Tell me about it. Well, I used to ride champ... I mean, dynamite, all the time before they caught him. He was wild when he likes me. And I like him. Sounds like you're telling the truth. I've just got to get him back, and buying your ticket is my only chance. I'll be doggone. I may be local, but you got me convinced. Here. Oh, no, keep your money. It'll be worth the ten bucks to see them highbinders lose their horse. Well, thanks, but I've got to buy it legal-like. I see what you mean. Good luck, son. Next muscle, the bar 20, will now attempt to ride dynamite. Kid get in here. Now, I don't know, but it won't do him any good to ride that horse. He didn't buy a ticket. Here's my ticket, Mr. Bates. I'm taking Champ with me right now. Wait a minute. We didn't sell you no ticket. All right, boys, pick up the horse. I paid for this ticket. Oh, I won champ fair and square. He sure did. I sold it to a friend, like you told me to. You had no business selling it to a kid. Or he might have been killed. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wanna... oh wait a minute, wait a minute. It's, it's, it's kind of a trick, fellas, but we don't want any trouble. All right, Martin, make it all legal. like give him a bill of sale. Anything you say, Joe. I'll get the van hitched up. OK. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I wouldn't have missed it for anything. Come on, Sonny. All the stuff in here. After you, son. You got us out of here! Don't worry, kid. They'll find you after we're gone. You should have known better than to trust him. Uh-oh. There's a window.
What's the matter, boy? Something wrong with Ricky? Come on, let's go. Champ? Then come on, we still got a chance. Did you lend yourself? Tell me about it later, Ricky. On your feet, Dixon. This time, you two Jaspers really did try to steal a horse. So mosey on back up to your van. We'll go in town and have a little talk with the sheriff. Come on, get going. Everyone 